the last couple years in my freelancing career, Upwork has been the top platform I've used to get clients. And over the years, I've optimized my profile depending on what kind of skill sets that I was heavily focusing on. So I thought in this week's video, I would share with you guys my Upwork profile and what I do to land some nice UGC deals on the Upwork platform. Hey guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're back at it again with another UGC video. I'm really excited about this video because I wanted to talk about Upwork for a while. I've mentioned them a few times in the series as one of the ways that I get new clients, but I haven't done a video of specifically how I get clients on Upwork. And I really believe it's how you set yourself up on your profile. And we're gonna be talking a lot about the nitty gritty details and the things that I did and changed up over the last couple of years that I noticed got me some clients, more specifically clients that were relative to my niche, specifically content creation or social media management at the time. And one of the things that we're gonna talk heavily about is SEO. And I wanted to talk about that straight away before we get into it, because I'm gonna use that acronym a lot in this video. So in case you don't know what SEO means, it is a marketing term, but it stands for search engine optimization. And it is the practice of improving your online visibility in organic search results to increase the quantity and quality of your website traffic. So the best practices of this is adding keywords to your titles, to your descriptions, your posts, whatever you're talking about in your website or even on a social media post, using those keywords that you know people are going to search for is going to get you to rank higher in search results. So with that, let's get a little bit nerdy about keywords and Upwork. I hope you guys enjoy this video and find some good value. And without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Welcome to my Upwork profile. This is what it looks like as soon as you get on there. This is my general profile. On Upwork, you can create two other profiles. So let's just say you do virtual assisting, but you also want to get into UGC content creation. You can create a separate profile for your virtual assisting, which will include your VA description, projects, reviews, portfolio for that. But also you can make a separate profile specifically for UGC content. So your description that we're going to add, works of art, maybe some reviews if you already have in there. But for me personally, I mean, I only have video editing and social media strategy. I usually just send in my general profile when I'm submitting proposals because when you submit proposals, you can send specific profiles over. Um, so if it was a video editing gig, I could send in my video editing profile. But these days I just do content creation on Upwork and some social media growth stuff. So that's why in my title I have UGC content creator and organic social media growth. Cause I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand. So when we're creating our UGC profile, the first thing you want to do is add in UGC content creator or branded content creator. You want to have this on your title because let's just say, a client is looking for UGC creator. And in the search results, you have your name and then UGC creator, this one has a social media manager, UGC creator and strategist. So you wanna have that specific keyword in your title, preferably at the very start of your title. So when people are searching for creators, you're right there. Now, obviously through the filters, it's going to rank by job success, um, when they're available online, rates like there's a lot more that goes hand in hand with this but you want to have that title so then upwork knows where to put you in the search now let's go into this 50 dollars an hour so it's actually required to put in an hourly rate i put 50 dollars an hour because of my pricing um is actually flat rate so doing some like very loose calculations for the amount of time that i'm putting into these projects filming editing and sending them off and you know getting the approval it adds up to about fifty dollars an hour so i just put that there a lot of people they put that there as a strict hourly rate some people just put it there because you have to put in an hourly rate so for this it's fifty dollars an hour i mean this one is 75 this one's 50 so i just average it out to 50. so i know about the hourly rate when i go and submit proposals i'm not using 50 dollars as my starting rate i will usually go within the project budget 
budget and I will try to negotiate a fixed price because yet again, when you post a posting on Upwork, sometimes it'll require you to do an hourly rate when the client is able to negotiate. Now let's go into this description right here. So in my description, I'm not gonna read it off, but I do talk about in this first line, what kind of clients I'm looking for, what do I do to serve my clients, and then in this second thing, it's kind of more of like an additional of my experience. So I talk about, you know, I have a personal brand, I share my day-to-day -day life, I've worked with such and such brands, and then I add in a little fun fact because just to make things more personal. I do a little call to action, feel free to flip through my portfolio, be sure to check out my project catalog which again, we will get into. So the first thing I would talk about is what kind of content do you specialize in? For me, I wrote, I help lifestyle and e-commerce brands thrive on social media by creating authentic video content. Now lifestyle and e-commerce brands can kind of go hand in hand. Lifestyle can dip into the fashion, food and beverage, fitness. It's basically like everyday lifestyle type of products, but I also serve e-commerce brands because that's what a lot of agencies or brands are. They can look at that and be like, okay, she could serve us in all of the brands that we work with. So notice when I close up the description, it only shows the first few lines of what I wrote in there. So pro tip, the first few lines of your description should introduce yourself. What kind of content do you make? What do you specialize in? And how can you help your clients out? And another little pro tip, if you have a portfolio already, what I have on my portfolio is a little description of what I do, who I serve, et cetera, et cetera. So what I would do is I would copy and paste this into my description and then I would just tweak it up a little bit. I obviously added way more in my description because if someone was really interested in wanting to work with me or know more about me, they would hit that more button. We're gonna skip over this a little bit. We're gonna go straight into the portfolio. Now I really need to update this portfolio, but again, if you already have a portfolio of like your works of art, let's just go back to mine, and I share all of my past projects and my analytics and stuff, I can easily transfer those videos and just upload them to my portfolio. But that's what I would do to kind of make life a little bit easier. Whenever you update your portfolio, update your portfolio on Upwork as well. Um, I highly recommend having the most updated videos or like your best work that you have done upload that to your portfolio because people will look through that. Now for skills, let's talk about this for a second. I didn't think this was a big deal at first, but once I started updating my skills and over time Upwork is going to ask you to add new skills based on the projects that you apply to and have completed. These are very basic video editing, social media strategy, content creation, social media website because you're serving most likely e-commerce brands, TikTok, video production, because you're filming, editing, and producing the entire video. So just make sure you're including some relevant skills that relate to the UGC world, if that is your specific purpose of this profile. You don't have to stress a lot of time on this, obviously, just put some really basic skills in there, and then over time you can add some, and Upwork, again, will suggest those to you. The consultation. Now, this is a new feature that Upwork has kind of released. I don't know if it's in beta or if it's officially out for everyone, but as soon as it was in beta, I got it, because whenever there's a new feature, whether it's on Upwork, whether it's on TikTok, Instagram, anywhere you want to take advantage of it because that's what's going to push you in the algorithm. This feature is perfect if you are doing a consulting business or if you want to do a discovery call with a potential client because guess what? You're going to provide them, let's say meeting notes or some suggestions or advice or anything that you talk about in this discovery call and they pay you for it. So on my consultation, what I have set up is I have a 30 minute call and a 60 minute call. And all I have on there, it's actually really basic, but it's just a project plan, time and cost estimate and meeting summary. So basically when someone signs up for my consultation, they will set up a time and a date to meet via Zoom and then we'll talk for 30 minutes or an hour or whatever and I will be taking notes during the meeting of things that we talk about because a lot of the times it's gonna be a discovery call for a potential client or maybe it's just someone that's looking for advice on being a UGC creator or scouting for a UGC project. I will write those notes down and I'll send it to them as soon 
as the meeting is over. And once they approve those notes, then they'll be able to pay me. On here, you can write a little description. Mine is very basic. It's actually curated for social media management. So discovery, if you need some management or if you need some long-term video editing. So I highly recommend doing that if you're able to, if you feel like you have a lot of knowledge in the UGC space, or if you're a social media manager and you wanna use this as a discovery call, you can definitely send over this link to your potential client for them to sign up and to fund and get started with that. It's just a fun little feature I highly recommend using. So besides SEO, the thing I want to heavily stress on is Project Catalog. Now I wanna say this came out in the last year or so, but this is rather a new feature and I feel like every UGC creator needs to hop on this. Think of this as like a Fiverr site where someone is like shopping for video content creation and they just go onto your page and they purchase from your project catalog. So this time the client reaches out to you, you don't have to reach out to the client. I have gotten a lot of my potential clients through project catalogs. I highly recommend setting one up. I have multiples. I have UGC content creation. I have engagement and growth for social media, short form video editing, social media manager, um, and a YouTube video editor. So I have a lot of them set up. The ones I have been getting the most inquiries in is social media assistant, um, YouTube video editing, and UGC content creation. So if I click on my view project, again, this is very customizable, but your title, it's got to have UGC content creator in there somehow. I also like the word TikTok in there because, you know, it relates to UGC um, and content creation. I also did Instagram Reels. You could also include e-commerce website, Facebook ads. Those are other really good keywords. Again, you want them smack dab in the title. For me, the category I chose was video and audio and also short video ads. It's going to curate your project attributes and your pricing for that specific project. So because we're talking about short form video ads, it's going to suggest social media platforms I want to include, the, the video type, the video orientation, all of that etc etc especially the pricing too because they get really nitty-gritty on the pricing you can do a custom title and descriptions you can have like three tiers so like on fiverr it's like a beginner intermediate advanced and it's like the type of editing you do or one ugc video three ugc videos five you can totally do that for now i just do per video and actually have it at a lower price than i do in my actual portfolio because i feel like the rate that i have on upwork converts better than if i have it at a higher price that's just my personal opinion i don't have a set in stone price for all of my projects we also have delivery days on here number of revisions now for me personally this is a very loose number because you gotta factor in the amount of time it's going to take for the product to ship and to actually create the content and deliver it. So this is actually fairly accurate. This, I would say three days as soon as I get the product in, but once this project gets started, it doesn't include the shipping times and stuff. So technically I would be overdue on this project when I submit it. However, I wanna keep the number very small because when someone's looking at the project, if I put in eight days, 10 days, 12 days, it might look like I'm gonna take forever to send in that content. So I keep it down to about three. Revisions, one, and what you can actually do is you can do add-ons. If someone wanted to do more than one revision, I actually have an add-on in here, which again is a new feature gotta hop on it. Um, what I have on here is an additional revision is another $10. Basically, if someone wants a revision in an edit or wants me to refilm, it's going to be an extra $10 to get that done. You can also select st service tier options. So I include video editing, script writing, product imagery, uh, background music. I unchecked voiceover recording, but I added it to an add-on, an extra $25, which is going to take an extra day. So I feel like this is very customizable. And if you want to build up the add-ons and stuff, I feel like it's reasonably priced, but this is how I have mine set up. Again, you go to gallery, you can upload a, a sample video if you like, you can create a cover photo. Mine's really simple, 
but it converts pretty well. I would suggest having maybe UGC content creation on your cover, maybe a photo of like a phone screen and then like a, a screenshot of one of your UGC videos in there. I think that would convert really well. Cause yeah, if you search up UGC content on the projects tab, there's a lot of people like, like I said right here, a little phone screen with a thumbnail of a UGC video. I highly recommend looking through all of these. Just look up UGC content on Upwork and you can get a lot more inspiration of the title of the thumbnail, maybe even description of what the project entails. See, this person has a lot more add-ons and a lot more service tiers. This actually has three tiers. So definitely look into this and do your own research on like what you wanna select and your pricing if you haven't solidified a pricing yet. She starts at $50, goes up to $105, and has more, more elements. You can definitely get very specific with this. I feel like mine is pretty general because usually people don't like purchase right off the bat. They'll message me first and then we'll negotiate and we'll actually start up a new contract. And then a little note to the consultations. What you could do is so you could actually create a new consultation. So if you wanted one for social media management, that's fine. But if you wanted one for UGC, you can create a new consultation for discovery call for a potential UGC project. And then you can also create basically an unlimited amount of different projects. So if you wanted to word your titles a little bit differently, maybe you wanna add one that's like specifically for Facebook ads or specifically for voiceovers, you can totally do that. It's very customizable. So that is overall the best practices for optimizing your profile on Upwork. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Again, a little overview. You wanna have your description short and sweet talking about what you do, specialize in, how you can help serve that client. Your title has to have UGC content creator at the very beginning of your title. Your portfolio, you wanna have your best work. Make sure you have a little bit of variety in your portfolio videos. Include some voiceovers, some product demos, testimonials, aesthetic videos, ASMR. Like you wanna have some variety for some people to look through. Project catalogs, definitely hop on, definitely look into other project catalogs for pricing and descriptions. And if you're comfortable, hop onto the consultations feature. Again, it's just like a discovery call or a short-term consultation service that you can provide. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any specific questions about Upwork or anything about optimizing your profile, let me know down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more UGC videos, behind the scenes, everyday vlogs, all that kind of stuff lives on this channel. So with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.